Good morning, everybody. I'm Scott James with Blue Water Yacht Sales. We're showing you today the brand new 58 foot Viking. This happens to be hole number 25. Proportionally, this boat is 58 feet, 11 inches length overall. And with the bow pulpit, which is optional, she's 62 feet, 11 inches. So good size boat. Beam is 17 feet, nine inches, about five feet of draft and full of fuel she weighs in at about 80,000 pounds. One of the first things you notice when you step on board is how generously sized this cockpit is. It's pretty much standard features. You have a transom door and gate, big transom fish box. This particular boat has the fish box, the transom box rigged as a live well. So it has the clear window, make sure we get a picture of that, clear window with LED lights inside of it. Um, that's obviously a, a fish box and a live well, either one. You have fish boxes in the floor on both sides. This particular boat has an Eskimo ice machine that dumps into this starboard side box right here. This box is sectioned off so that you can kind of keep your ice in half of it if you want. And then you move the ice around to your, to your different uh, facilities here. So, all right. Release Marine, um, six rod launcher, I'm sorry, eight rod rocket launcher. Does have a drawer on the back side. It's on the offset pedestal because the Sea Keeper in this boat is right here. This boat is rigged with a Sea Keeper 16. And real quickly, you can see just where this Sea Keeper is located. You still have lazarette access here and um, just got a little bit of a of a custom curtain just to keep spray that kind of thing off of your sea keeper so let's look at a couple other things here this particular boat um, has teak on the mezzanine and on the steps going to the bridge but has a non-skid floor so a fairly low maintenance um, uh, low maintenance cockpit here a couple of custom options in this particular boat the um, tuna tubes, these auxiliary tuna tubes are fed by a two inch raw water pump, uh, two inch raw water line and that line there's a separate pump and um, seacock in the lazarette and you can see that it the feed comes out of the the haunch here into the tuna tube and then drains right into the top of the scupper and goes overboard. So it's a really clean really nice um, set up on this particular boat. Also, custom options here. On the mezzanine seating, you'll see that there's HVAC vents. So there's four of them, two in each of the armrests, the fixed armrests, and um, of course, wonderful uh, mezzanine upholstery. All this is, is of course removable. If you look at where your overhang is here, you can see that if I stand straight up, I'm in the middle of the overhang, so, so there's, you get a lot of shade in this particular space. Um, again, really refined <clears throat> for the use of, of the mezzanine and the cockpit. So there's obviously there's room for a full-size fighting chair here. Um, and then and in your kind of within your, your, your mezzanine boxes, this is a bait freezer, and you can see that that is a um, that's a nice, good size box. You can get custom bait trays to go right in there for um, rigged ballyhoo and so forth. Under under the mezzanine seat is <clears throat> another freezer box, refrigerator box. It can be switched either way. Engine room access is on the center line. You have a refrigerated refrigerated drink box right here in the step. And then another small storage box here. A lot of people keep their cleaning supplies, um, that kind of thing, right here in this box. <clears throat> Tackle drawers. And um, again, if you look at how much of a slide you get, you get the full slide really, really nicely done in terms of hardware and so forth. So 
what we'll do is we'll go into the uh, engine room next. I'm going to move some cushions. We're going to go right there. Okay, we're in, we're in the engine room now, and the engine room is conveniently located right in the center line with easy access from the cockpit. So one of the first things you see when you come into, uh, when you come into the engine room space is right here at the step, conveniently located here are your switches for engine room lights, engine room fans, your uh, fish box drains, wash down pumps, that kind of thing. Everything, all that's right here where it's easy to reach as you enter the engine room. Also, you see that your helm, the controller for your helm, I'm sorry, your mezzanine air conditioning system is right here. Also easy to reach from the cockpit. And then your refrigerated boxes or freezer boxes, they're all controlled right here as well. So everything's easy to get to just from open the hatch, lean over and you can control all those items. You also see that you have an MTU control panel here on each side with a tachometer so easy to when it's time for servicing and um, troubleshooting that kind of thing you have uh, controls right there. So as I back up we'll see we've got twin um, Cummins Onan generators these are um, these are uh, 20 kW generators, 20 kW each, and then twin uh, 10V 1600 horse MTUs. Um, very good motors, um, propel this boat to a top speed of about 42 and a half, 43 knots. Um, very quick, very quiet, and uh, surprisingly fuel efficient. So um, in this engine room you can see we've got full stand up. Um, you can you can um, you can see the space obviously between the engines here, but also I'm going to kind of work my way around so that you can see that access to the outside of the engines and certainly to the front of the engines here is really easy. Um, also, we've got kind of set up with refrigeration. Your HVAC units are all on the port side of the engine room and tools, water makers, has a 700 gallon per day water maker and, um, and around behind the starboard engine you'll see the um, ice machine. The Dometic ice machine is up in the corner and then a condenser for the, uh, for the refrigeration, cockpit refrigerations here. Um, so while we're here, a couple of things that you notice is how little shaft angle you have. So um, output shaft from the transmission, dripless shaft seals, you'll see that we've got a spare seal that's riding on the shaft just up line a little bit. And then again, if you look at how, how the shaft angle is, you don't, this is, this is a boat with prop pockets, modified prop pockets. One of the reasons these boats perform so well is the is the reduced shaft angle. It also helps you reduce draft. But um, again, just an engineering engineering um, thing that that you notice when you get in here. So um, all your seacocks are on the center line, easy to access. Um, again, well lit. Everything's clean, so it's easy to keep an eye on what's happening in your engine room. Okay, so walk with me. We're going to make our way into the salon. Um, you'll see electric actuated door, which really gives you. Um, it's a really nice feature, especially when you're, you know, when you're fishing. If the boat's moving around, you don't have to worry about sliding the door with a hand and holding on with the hand. If you're carrying something, it's really a nice way to get in and out of the boat. So in. In the salon, one of the first things you'll see is if you look down the hallway, you can really see how big this boat is. And um, God kind of gives you an idea of the length and then the beam here. Certainly, again, you've got generous sidewalks on both sides, but a really good sized salon. Look at the woodwork here. And this, this particular boat is done in the high gloss walnut. Um, your electrical panel is going to be here. So DC is at the top, your AC panel is here at the bottom. Um, most everything can be run and operated from here. Remote starts for your generators, both your generators, 
underwater lights are there and um, storage cabinets throughout but if you look at the way things are done this is nice soft curve tr just premier woodwork pop-up TV is right here convenient so if someone's sitting at the sofa you've got a really nice view of of uh, whatever we're watching on TV this boat has an AME electronics package and one of the nice things about what they can do is your GPS displays from the bridge can be displayed on the TV so as you're getting to your fishing grounds your crew who's in the salon here can can see just how close you are how many miles you have to your waypoint that kind of thing pretty neat little feature so this is typical typical Viking layout which is absolutely tremendous your HVAC your air comes out over the top of that plenum so it lets the air kind of fill the whole cabin you don't have cold spots or hot spots it really distributes the air extremely well um, interior um, what you would expect from Viking this is impeccable um, this boat has the L-shaped sofa and the two bar stools with the raised um, countertop here this is all quartz counters um, again the decor in this boat difference in you know the darker countertop that's raised the lower quartz countertop down below and um, and uh, just to give you a little contrast um, under counter sub-zero refrigeration there's four drawers in this boat your clear ice um, drink ice maker actually is over there um, <clears throat> four burner stove there's microwave with pocket doors and then um, you know really really again nice cabinetry you have full slides on these drawers too and we'll go actually go over here let's open one of these so you can see that you have it's easy to have access to everything that's in these drawers nothing gets lost way back in the back you know you have full sides at stainless hardware it's really nicely done the um, and if you look you just kind of get a feel for the quality of the hardware the type of hinges and that kind of thing it's typical Viking quality um, so <clears throat> again big salon you can probably seat 10 or 12 people in here easy and um, again high gloss walnut throughout the boat we're going to go ahead and start our way down into the lower accommodation space now. Okay, so we're in the guest bunk room, and this is the room at the bottom of the stairs on the starboard side. And lots of headroom in here, a lot of headroom. Big storage areas. This one certainly is long enough to be outfitted with rod holders for rod storage and that kind of thing. Um, pretty neat space the way this is designed. You have a low bunk and a high bunk. So, um, so you've got some, you know, you could have two fishermen sleep in here and you don't feel like you're in, you're in each other's way because the, the beds are at different levels. Storage in here as well. And so, and there's a TV, there's LG flat screen TV here, conveniently positioned where both people can see the TV. So we're gonna, we're gonna work our way aft. Storage in here. And immediately forward, <clears throat> we've got laundry with a separate washer and dryer. Okay. And then forward of that is the guest head. Um, guest head, big shower. You've got direct access to the forward stateroom. And you can see, again, quartz countertops. This is all uh, uh, brushed nickel, all the fixtures throughout the boat doorknobs, um, bathroom fixtures, everything's brushed nickel. So again, from the guest head, I have private access into the forward stateroom. So here's privacy door here. And the standard layout forward in this boat is a, is a single queen. This particular boat is done with the offset bunks. So this lower bunk here is certainly wide enough to sleep two and then you have an upper bunk with pretty decent length and if you look at the height here um, 
certainly plenty of shoulder room if you're turning over or night, whatever. Um, big hanging locker here and storage cabinets, storage cabinets here. Okay, we're going to make our way now into the master, which is aft and on the port side. So as we go in here, <coughs> you'll notice, again, really nice curved doorways, curved um, door tops, you know, again, just really that high-end feel that you would expect. In the master of this 58, you got two full closets. So if we look at, at what's here, you'll see <clears throat> not only do you have full length hanging, but you've got cubby holes suitable for shoes, um, smaller storage items, that kind of thing. So there's really, there's excellent utilization of space here. And the, um, and again, with two, two full closets. Again, cubby holes there, shoe storage, that kind of thing. There is storage under the bed. This is a, this is a queen size berth. Um, upholstered headboards. Um, this, do, this boat does have a really nice decor package in it. And as I move around, we'll go into the master, master head. Got a little bit of a linen closet in here. Perfect for towels, washcloths, that kind of thing. The um, quartz countertop and <clears throat> medicine cabinet with mirrors. And then again, I want you to look at how big the shower is in this boat, okay? So there's almost seven feet of headroom in here, and you can see just how big with a seat, with a shelf, and a little niche for um, bathing products, that kind of thing. So that's the interior of the boat. We're going to make our way up to the flybridge next. Okay, we're on the flybridge here now, and um, great visibility from this spot. You can obviously, from the helm, you can see the corners, you can see your bow. This boat does have a bow rail, so you can, a uh, bow rail and a pulpit, easy to see exactly where, you know, where you are in the boat, or where the boat is in your, in a marina, or in a um, crowded fairway, what have you. So this particular boat um, was done with two rails of rocket launchers. You can see they're staggered so that you can fill every hole and um, you can get to all your rods. Um, so that's a, that's a custom feature on this particular boat. Also, this boat was done in a Kingston gray hull color. And you'll see that that hull color is also on the underside of the hardtop here. You've got a grab rail over the helm chairs. That's a pretty nice little feature. And while we're standing here, molded in spreader light box, you can see you have vents as well as a little drain here. So um, uh, again, just kind of forward thinking, any moisture that's in here is going to evacuate and that, that's going to be a, uh, an area that stays, stays nice and dry. The, um, as we move forward, two pedestal helm chairs. These are Release Marine Trillion Series chairs. You also have a teak helm pod. So typical of Viking, your um, trim tabs, um, the, your trim tab actuators are, uh, I'm sorry, your switches are here and on this boat, um, and this is something Viking has gone, has gone to standard now, is your, your side box lids have a, have a piano hinge so that it's easy to open those. You can still see your dash with your electronics displays and so forth. This boat has um, a Garmin package. You've got um, three of the Seatronics, I think they're 19 inch screens, um, and you control, control the screens here. Here's your Garmin remote interface device. Um, again, your trim tab switches are here, but your trim tab position indicator is right here, easy to see. Also, while we're in that box, you can see VHF radio, cup holders, your ice machine, your Dometic Eskimo ice machine, that controller is right here. Um, as we move around, we can see um, controls for your FLIR camera are here. 
your bow thruster. The bow thruster can be turned on here and your controllers are in, your, in the thumbs of your Palm Beach style controls or you can run your bow thruster here. Two spotlights, they're ACR remote spotlights. Um, you've got USB charging ports up here. Again, another VHF radio um, in, uh, in this box as well. So glass lid, so all of this stays dry. Um, when, you're, when the boat's being washed, you can wipe everything down. And um, um, so AIS, we see that Bella is right over here, um, close to us. Moving, uh, moving forward, actually, we'll go up here first. So you've got your electric teaser reels are in the overhead. Something else that Viking has started to do here recently is the teaser line is going to run through this little fair lead, out through this grommet, and back to your, you know, back into the ocean. So what you can do is you can grab this line and yank it if you have a fish behind your teaser. Pretty easy to, to yank this, um, to yank either one of your teasers. You're not reaching up into the box. You're actually reaching here, which is nice. Also, drop down box, and on this particular boat, you can see you've got a Furuno RD33. You've got um, fuel tank uh, monitoring here, and then your Seakeeper control panel is there, and then a Garmin display, multifunction Garmin display that's here in, um, in the overhead as well. So, um, bench seating on both sides. This boat does also have Helm HVAC, and you see that we have, there's a return right there in front of that speaker, and then you've got several vents. There's two here at the helm. <clears throat> if we move forward, you've got two on the sides of the console, and then two, uh, again, fresh air for either heat or cool, depending on how you have the, the, um, your HVAC unit set up. So, <clears throat> bench seat here, storage underneath, Drink box up here. <clears throat> this box is refrigerated. And um, more storage here. So storage under the two side, um, side benches, storage under here, as well as you've got storage for life jackets and that kind of thing underneath the console. Really sleek, custom, not a custom, molded, um, rounded, very sleek. Um, console center console with toe kick on the edges here toe kick all the way around so again while you're here the boats run and these boats are very fast but they're very safe a lot of seating and a lot of handholds so we'll look forward from here <clears throat> and again this particular boat was ordered with the pulpit and the windlass you can see that you have foot pedal controls up there and a big anchor locker door so you can get into the anchor locker and um, clear any kind of um, piles of line that you may have there or whatever. So again, this is the new 58-foot Viking twin 1,600-horse MTUs, Seakeeper 16, completely outfitted for family, for fishing, and for travel. Again, I'm Scott James with Blue Water Yacht Sales. Thanks for your time.